Welcome back the news in full. Egypt marks the anniversary of the 30th of June revolution. On the occasion, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi addressed the nation where he asserted that June 30 revolution presented an important chapter in Egypt's history and added that it embodies and strengthened the capabilities of Egyptians in facing hard hardens and difficult challenges. President Sisi reiterated that Egypt has witnessed a great leap in its development and reconstruction process through implementing several mega national projects in various domains within the state's comprehensive strategy to build a new strong and modern homeland. The president pointed out that the Egyptians' awareness contributed in confronting all challenges and coming over them in a short time and pointed out to what has been achieved during the coronavirus crisis. Meanwhile, the head of state renewed vows to continue working on reaching a better future for the coming generations. And to shed more light on the occasion of the 8th anniversary of the June 30 revolution, we're joined over the phone by political analyst Dr. Salah Abdullah. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome, Dr. Abdullah. Uh, sir, uh, how do you see the significance of the June 30th revolution uh, in the history of Egypt? Well, you know, there is moments in the history of every country which can be a, 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 a definite separation between two states. The stage before 30 June, which is a stage of chaos, there is no uh, future, it is not clear, there is disturbance in the society. Uh, nobody knows what is going on tomorrow, you know. To the extent that I myself I was talking in the TV and I was calling that the army, the Egyptian army, must, be, must interfere to stop what is going on in the society. So this was our feeling as a whole because what is, uh, what is happening by that time was terrible. So yes. by 30 June, uh, President Sisi put end to this uh, disturbance and the start new era for Egypt, the era of stability, the era of planning, the era of uh, looking to the future, the era of building uh, a new uh, uh, society or a new country which will uh, try to reach the level of the uh, high standard country in the world. Yes. Uh, of course. Uh, we are now living in a, a, a time of building, how to build our country, how to look to the future, how to return back uh, Egypt, which is very active country, which is, uh, which have depressed uh, uh, in every uh, problem in the world, uh, Egypt, which is uh, uh, playing a role in the Arab country, active role in the Arab country, active role in Africa, active role in the uh, international mm -hmm. society. That's yes. why uh, I said that 30 June was a, a mark, a mark between two stages, and we thank God that that horrible stage had been finished. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Dr. Abdullah, in his address to the nation uh, today, President Sisi asserted that the revolution uh, embodies the strong will of Egyptians and good awareness. How do you assess this, sir? Well, of course, yeah, the, the, what the President Sisi says is true. Uh, this revolution now is to the benefit of the people of Egypt. It start rebuilding the Egyptian personality. Uh, starting uh, active role in the uh, local and international society, uh, starting uh, returning the Egyptian true personality, which was very active in the world. You know, uh, Egypt before 30 June was uh, was drawing from everything. It was a static life, a static life. You didn't have a role in the local problems or in the international problems, just a static life. 
but now you are facing your internal problem by having a good plan for roads, for building new capital, for uh, joint uh, projects with foreign companies and with foreign countries. You have plans for uh, increasing the production of food and uh, increasing the industrial production. Mm -hmm. So you have your internal program and also you have your external program. You yes. see that President Sisi is very active. He, uh, any meeting for the Arab world, for Africa, uh, international, you find that President Sisi is there. He was in France because of Sudan. He was in uh, Iraq because of, uh, of the new uh, trend between Iraq and Jordan and Egypt. Uh, you know, his movie is, is, is changing the life in Egypt to an active life instead of static life. And of course, this will reflect itself on the uh, uh, citizens in Egypt and uh, uh, in the life of the Egyptian uh, personnel. So what he said in his address was correct completely. Yes, well, uh, sir, how do you weigh the achievements that took place during the past eight years in Egypt in uh, various domains? You know, if you want to count what happened in the eight years, you will find it too much from the new branch of Suez Canal to the new capital to the uh, Al Alamein town to the uh, a network of roads which is, uh, is very, very important uh, to projects uh, for electricity which uh, increase our power of production of electricity to the extent that we, ha we have now more e electricity than what we need, we are producing more than what we need to look into agriculture uh, projects for increasing our food, the one and a half million project and the new Delta project. Yeah, you know, if you look to the uh, industry, you find that there is many activities to have new industries and to have a joint project with many important uh, companies in the world. You know, right. we are just producing a electric bus since few yes. days. So, the, 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 the work are, you know, very fast uh, to uh, increase our uh, production power, to increase our uh, uh, population uh, activities, to increase our housing, uh, to build more houses, more towns, yes. more societies. So, well, I would like to what thank you. In the villages in Egypt now, there is a great activity for uh, renewing the uh, Egyptian uh, villages, you know. So, uh, the, the projects are too much. You can count up to tomorrow, if you like. Yes. Well, I would like to thank you very much, Dr. Salah Abdallah, our political analyst. Many thanks for your insight. And moving forward with our news bulletin, Egypt marks the anniversary of the June 30th revolution. This time, eight years ago, Egyptians of all ages gathered in the country's squares, streets and boulevards to protest for bread, freedom and social justice. June 30 was a significant day in the history of the country, presenting a new start for Egypt's political, economic and social progress. The story. Egypt marks the anniversary of the June 30th revolution. This time, eight years ago, Egyptians of all ages gathered in the country's squares, streets and boulevards to protest for bread, freedom and social justice. June 30th was a significant day in the history of the country, presenting a new start for Egypt's political, economic and social progress. Since President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi took office, practical steps have emerged in integrating youth people into various executive institutions 
conditions. However, there is one beautiful outcome of the January 25th revolution that is uh, undebatable and undeniable. The uprising sparked a wave of initiative, creativity, and innovation. Today, Egypt's population are among the most creative in the world, taking initiative like never before. Gone are the days of waiting for someone else to take action. The revolution showed the courage of Egyptians to stand up and take matters in their own hands. Elected in May 2014, President Abd al-Tahi Sisi has chosen to take a different route and revolt against long-held Egyptian taboos. He has challenged the policies adopted by the previous presidents. The magnitude of the challenges facing Egypt is considerable, and the responsibility for confronting these challenges is collective. Egypt is passing through the most difficult time in its history, according to President Abd al-Fattah Sisi in many of his public speeches. Since the 30th June revolution, much has changed in Egypt. President Abdel Fattah Sisi inspected on Wednesday equipment for projects of developing rural areas and communities and villages within the framework of Decent Life Initiative. At the beginning of his tour, President Sisi praised efforts and activities of the initiative in improving services provided to citizens and contributing in several projects during the past period, calling on the civil society in Egypt to participate in these projects. The president reiterated that the government's aim is to implement a comprehensive developing program for the upgrade of rural areas across the country and asserted the importance of preserving agricultural land pointing out to the state's goal of cultivating about 2.5 million Fedans through the new Delta project. Moreover, the head of state visited the ongoing housing project of the initiative where he listened to an explanation by the Minister of Housing on the progress report and the services to be provided to residents of these units. The Health Ministry announced 261 new coronavirus cases and 23 deaths. In its daily report, the Health Ministry said the number of recoveries has exceeded 210,000 out of 280,000 officially reported cases in the pandemic first hit the country. It said it's on high alert across governorates and taking all necessary measures in anticipation of any viruses or contagious diseases. <laughs> 